The Galaxy Note 4 brings a lot of new enhancements to the S Pen, so that's what we're going to take a look at here. Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a feature focus on the S Pen of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. <laughs> In technical terms, the S Pen has been enhanced in the Galaxy Note 4 to have higher levels of sensitivity, from 1024 to 2048. Yeah, that's some technical jargon, but basically what it means is that you have better control in the writing speed, pressure, and angle against the screen, allowing for the thickness and concentration levels to be better customized. Now, even further down the road, you'll be able to see in the S Pen and the S Note application that there are different pens that are available now. What I'm writing with right now is a fountain pen, but there is also a calligraphy pen available, and as you press harder down on the screen you'll see that the stroke gets even thicker to really emulate the type of writing that you would have with a real pen. Perhaps one of the best enhancements when it comes to the S Pen has to do with its button. What you'll be able to do now is hold down the button and then use the S Pen like a mouse in terms of selections. And I think this is a feature that a lot of people really wanted and it comes in the Galaxy Note 4. Basically hold down the button and drag from the starting point of your selection over to the end point of it. This works not only in text in a lot of different applications but it also works in places like the gallery so you can do multiple selections and be able to do things to those multiple selections easily right from the menu. This is probably my favorite enhancement to the S Pen because it really streamlines the process of copying and pasting. And to be honest, it's what makes me take out the S Pen on the Galaxy Note 4 more than anything else. As you can see in the widget there for the S Note application, there are voice and text notes, but what I'm doing here is doing the photo note. Now, the cool thing about the photo note, as you can see here, is that it's already trying to find the borders to cut out just the text that it feels I really want. Uh, what the photo note will be able to do is take that photo of a particular area and detect where all of the lines are in order to take those designs and make them editable if you really want them to. In this case, what it's doing is it's analyzing the image in order for it to create the small area. Now, in this particular area down here on the bottom I'm going to convert it to edit and once I do that I'll be able to remove what is already existing and be able to write in using the pen uh, my own additions now this might be really useful for students that might want to get the notes off of a whiteboard or a blackboard and uh, it might actually help for a lot of people who just want to get the information down and be able to change it on the fly when they want to using the S Pen with their own creativity one really cool feature of the photo note camera is that when you take a picture of an area that is at an angle, it will be able to actually detect the angle and then morph it in a way so that you'll be able to single out the content that you want to use. From there, you'll be able to create sections that will be converted into the photo note area that will then be converted to text that you can then edit to your liking. The photo note detection when it comes to the S Pen application is actually very robust, being able to detect a lot of lines in a design, especially when you really want to find all of the text on a wall. This is an example that I had where the lines, not just of the text, but of the actual designs of the wallpaper were found, and they were detected so that I would be able to edit them at my choosing. But now we can take a look at the Air Command menu, which does return from the Galaxy Note 3, and we'll start with the Action Memo, which is the first option on the list. Basically, it's the same as the Galaxy Note 3 Action Memo, in which it gives you a small memo pad to do whatever in, and the text that you write in there can be detected and plugged into a number of different applications for, con for contextual purposes. For example, you can plug the text into an internet browser in order to do a search, but as you can see here, I'm pointing to the new S Note shortcut down on the bottom right that will allow the action memo to just go straight to S Note. So it provides an even easier way of creating notes that you'll be able to save for later. The biggest addition to the Air Command menu has to be the Smart Select. And what this allows you to do is use the pen like scissors, as they say. Basically, what I'm doing here is just cutting out portions of what I'm seeing here. And in this case, I'm just cutting out a bunch of different applications that I happen to like and saving them in a small floating area that can be used for a bunch of different purposes later. Basically, what you can do is just hit that blue uh, plus sign over on the top left of the small floating head and be able to add even more snippets inside. The little blue arrow underneath the floating head will allow you to take a quick look at what you've put inside of the area and then drag and drop single items into various places. Like here, I'm going to send a text to somebody saying that this is one of my favorite applications. Now, it is a nice feature to be able to drag and drop from one place to another, but it seems to only really work for Samsung specific applications. Luckily, what you'll be able to do is open up the entire thing, as you can see here, I'm going to do so. And when you take a look at all of those items inside of this 
this particular menu, you can hit the share button and be able to send all of these items to, let's say, an email in Gmail or to any other applications that might be able to take them as pictures. I actually find the smart select to be a very powerful tool. And especially if you only want to get the gist of the information you want to send to, let's say your friends or your colleagues, it does help that you're able to save it in an area and go in and out of a bunch of different applications in order to find the other pieces of info. You can also put all of those pieces inside of the scrapbooking application in the Galaxy Note 4, which makes it even easier to save just the little snippets that you need for later. And then finally, the last two options in the Air Command menu are ones that return from the Galaxy Note 3 once again. The image clip, as you're seeing here, allows me to have a freeform area that I can cut out from the screen that I'm seeing, but there are also a couple of buttons in order for it to detect a better way of cutting the area, like for example, cutting out the block of text like this. Again, you'll be able to save these to your scrapbook or share them out to any applications that will take it as an image and be able to share it out like in emails or in messaging. And finally, the screen write. This might be familiar to a lot of you S Pen veterans out there, but basically what we're doing here is taking a screenshot that you can then write all over to your heart's content. What's cool about this version of the screen write is that the new pens that you have in the S Note application can be used here as well, so you have some real creativity to just go nuts on the picture. Honestly, with the image clip and the smart select available, I'm not sure if this is a particular version of saving that I would be using more often. But when you really just need something quick and dirty, the screen write is about as good as anything in order for you to really save content to your notes. And so there you have it for this feature focused video on the S Pen for the Samsung Galaxy Note 4. A lot of the features that were originally introduced in the Galaxy Note 3 return here, but in this video, I wanted to show you all of the new enhancements and sort of give you my opinion on them. The pen as a mouse feature, being able to do selections using the button on the S Pen is probably the one that I use the most, and it's probably the one that I enjoy the most. But from there, keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage, including our future coverage of the Samsung Galaxy Note 4, including my full review, which is coming very soon so keep it tuned here drop us some likes on our videos and subscribe if you haven't already and once you're done with all of that head on over to androidauthority.com because you know we're your source for all things android